All right. So I'm back, and today we're going to be adding NPCs. Um, it's 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 important because I need to set up the uh, the sort of cast around your starting town because they are going to be dynamic and they are going to change as you go through the story. So if you have beaten the first gym and come back, they're going to say different things. And if you beat the fourth gym and come back, they're going to say different things. So there's going to be that progression with these characters. And it's actually really important because I need to do this foundationally to set up two uh, mid-story events um, like down the line. The first one is going to be your house and your family because after you beat the first gym, if you come home and talk to your mother, you will start a storyline with your sister. So, so you're the oldest in the family, you're the first one leaving to take on a Pokemon, and your little sister uh, is a little shy, a little wary of the outside world. Um, even though, even though she's, she's only like a, a year and a half younger than you. She's not that much younger than you. Um, and so she's going to get her own Pokemon soon. And so it's sort of like the, your parents want your help with helping your little sister get a little bit more comfortable with Pokemon in the world of Pokemon. Uh, basically they don't want to just sit at home all day. Um... So that being said, mom starts out here, but after you meet the professor, she disappears. So these next sprites are going to be triggered by meet the professor. Um, and it should be the same for all of these guys. Um, meet the professor, they're gone. And then starting over, uh, your dad is there to heal your team. Um, and then also the food disappears after you've met the professor and your first interaction with your little sister disappears after you meet the professor. So basically this and the TV changes. Um, so, so basically everything's going to wipe clean after you meet the professor and it's going to go into its default mode where it'll just cycle through normal small talk until you beat the first gym and then once you have one gym under your belt there's going to be a completely different home interaction um and i also need to do this for your rival's house because your rival wants to become a pokemon professor and is only going to the gyms to learn more about pokemon and to see high level pokemon um and his older brother is actually one of the gym leaders in Haveridge town and so he wants his brother to he, the older brother wants your rival the younger brother to also become a gym leader and so there's there's this tension of like hey like this is a small region it doesn't make sense for us to have a pokemon professor but our region is known for its battles we have so many gyms people travel here to fight in our gyms like, this is the demand. This is where you get your pay. This is where you make your career. And so that'll be sort of a, a different thing going on. One thing I do want to change, though, is I wrote this event before figuring out the what I was going to do with the little sister. And so she's watching the Kalos Regional Qualifiers. And I don't think that she would be watching that if she's too um, shy to really, like, engage in her world. So, I want to change this to something else. Um, and this is hard because I want it to be something unrelated to Pokemon in the world of Pokemon. Oh, I think I, I think I think I remember what I was thinking. I think she'd be watching a cooking class. Um, specifically a uh, what Poffin is that what they're called? Yeah, Poffin Baking from Gen 4. Um, well, 
Well, do okay. Wait, this is actually a really good point for down the line. I need to know if Poffins are even part of Pokemon Essentials. I don't think they are. Um, and to do that, we're just going to open up the item list. And we're just going to go Control F. Poffin? Nope, oh, I'm going up. I want to go down. Raspberry. In the Sinnoh region, they like to make sweets known as poffins with this berry. So, okay, that's that's great. That's great. So, poffins do exist um, in the item set. Which, that's super useful. Um, because maybe you can use berry hunting as a way to kind of like appeal to her when she's nervous about going out into the world of Pokemon. Um, but I don't know if I don't want to introduce Poffin specifically. Cause I don't think Pokemon essentials by default comes with uh, Poffin baking as a side event. I mean, that was built for the stylus. That was a touch, a touch screen event on the DS. Um, but I'm sure someone's done it. So I'm not. I'm not going to get too caught up in that though. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, she is watching a Poffin baking show. Poffin. And so, okay, we're going to say... So, so I'm going to come in mid-sentence, and the mid-sentence is going to be berries are useful in trainer battles. However, the Sinnoh region... has uses berries in a unique way dot 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 and I'll say I'm here at the Poffin house where trainers and Pokemon can bake Poffins from berries a find in the wild and then she interrupts and says hey get out of the way so okay that's actually really good because um i i the uh the mom okay uh, let's just get into it okay if you come home again and this is just nothing else going on um Then you're going to have your dad moving randomly. Um, this is Met Professor. And if you talk to him, he's going to say, Mom is away at work right now. Shoot. I just realized... He Every single iteration of dad will need a blank for starting over. Um, Just because if I have the dad standing down there in the hallway and then, um... Then you could faint and it would trigger this dad to appear while this dad is standing here. So what we're also going to have to do is go here and if starting over 
is on, then this event doesn't exist. Okay, so you met the professor. Dad's just doing whatever. Um, if you come up here, and this is again met professor, then your little sister will be running around in her new room because you moved out. Is she a trainer? Is she based on a trainer? I think she is. There aren't a lot of little kids, so... There you go. Twins. Is that her? She based on the twins? Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Lore. Deep. <laughs> Deep lore. Sister was actually a twin. All right, and she's going to be running around excited in your room. That should do it. I hope I didn't mess that up. She should be walking in a circle. Here you go. Hey, this is my room now. Um, oh, also, I need to s change the frequency. So that it's constant walking. Let's take a look at it. See what it looks like. Has to recompile everything. Um... So, I changed Machoke's moveset yesterday. Um, well, the entire Machop line. And I also changed the uh, overworld sprite for Machop. Um, see how it now has the electric head? So, you didn't miss much. Um, actually, something way crazier happened uh, yesterday. Um, over the weekend my car stopped working and so i uh called a mechanic had a mechanic come out and take a look at the car well actually so okay to, uh, so i already knew what was wrong with the car i looked under the hood and the uh spark plug wires had been chewed out by an animal and so i was like okay we have a rodent but like first i need to fix the car then i need to get the rodent um, or see at least what it takes to fix the car. So I called up a mechanic. He came out and, you know, he parks his car. I'm like explaining to him, hey, like rodent problems. I open the hood of my car for him and there is a brown ball of fur sitting right on the engine and it just takes off and it just it shoots behind the engine just out onto the ground and it bolts across the street and goes under another car and disappears and I, I i i like i mean i just like turned and looked at the mechanic i was like did you see that <laughs> and, he, and he was like what what was that? I was like, I don't is this a raccoon? It's I mean I know raccoons can be brown, but it doesn't have a uh, stripes. It's also a um it also had a bushy tail, but it's too, way too big to be a rat. This like the tail, the size of it, it's like this isn't a rodent. This is this is this is too large. And it has a it had a fluffy tail. And so so he's like, was it a cat? And I'm like, why would it cat be in the car um and we went over to go talk to the neighbor because it, i think it ran into their car and was sitting in their car engine and our neighbor was like it was right after that our neighbor opened their garage and they're sitting inside and they're just like uh no english and so we were like okay whatever um 
Long story short, mechanic is like, I can't fix this. I don't have the part. So I've ordered the part. I'm going to fix it. But now I need to catch like a rodent. I need to catch a... I So, so I did some research. I was like... I was like, okay, what, what is this? And I think it's a marmot, which is the fattest subspecies of squirrel. Oh, that event shouldn't trigger every time. And also, she needs to walk more. But other than that, it's great. But yeah, so so I've looked up marmots. That's what I'm. That's my best guess. It fits the description because it was big and fat, and it had a bushy tail. And and yeah, that's all I got. Um, <laughs> after after I was just talking, I was trying to figure out like what what the heck just happened. The uh, the mechanic just took a fat rip of his vape and just like blew his cotton candy vape. And then I like looked at me. I was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, it's, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I left the house, right? And the wake up didn't trigger, did it? Let's try again. Cause I probably need to do something with that event as well. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on the marmot story. Yeah, that's a one time thing, I think. Cause it didn't trigger that time. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that worked. We need this dude on the highest. So they're really cruising. And then mom's away at work, that totally worked. Alright, what's next? Um, I need to change this guy so that if we need variables. If the number of gyms you've beaten... What's the variable I have set? When you beat a gym leader. Defeated gym one. Water gym defeated plus one. Is that really how I have it coded? It shouldn't be called water gym. Because look, you go over to Alex's gym. And he says... Water Gym defeated plus one. Yeah, we're going to change the name of this. To just Gym defeated. There will be specific um, events triggered by beating specific gyms, but that's like way down the line. Because those will be like side stories. Side side plots. Those don't really matter. Um, okay. So... So that's the only interactions you can have with these people. Jim defeated is one or above, and you disappear. Bye bye. New event variables. Jim defeated is one or above. Bye bye. Okay. So now we have the baseline for the event. Um. And for this event, we're going to put the data up here. The variable is Jim defeated. He's going to say, hmm. What book should I read? Very uh, compelling, compelling storytelling. Jim defeated is one. Okay, so from here on out, everything is going to be determined by the progression of the sister storyline. Um, and everything else was really just like setting up for it. So. Dad's up here looking at books on the ground. Let's put Anne back at the TV, actually. Uh, 
Not now, my favorite show is on. Um, and we're gonna... Have the TV on again. Um... And now we're going to get very specific with the uh, berries. But first I need to understand what kind of berries are used in what way. That's weird. One of the qualities of poffins is, or berry cooking, is smoothness. It was, uh... That's interesting. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Um... So this is what they're gonna say. The bluck berry, yes, that's a real berry, is both dry and sweet. When made into a coffin, it is the preferred No, no, no. We're going to say it this way. No, no. It's not adamant. A lot of Pokemon like, like, dry and sweet. Sweet flavor is commonly preferred by Jolly No, it can't be Jolly, because Jolly likes sweet and dislike dry. Timid, am I leading too hard with this? by a timid Pokemon. Okay, and then we're gonna say to further please a timid Pokemon, consider mixing sweet and spicy berries. This is all true, guys. You didn't, you didn't know when you came to watch my video that you'd be learning about Poffins and the cooking combinations based on Pokemon natures. And then Anne still says, get out of the way. So Anne re returns to her TV after you beat the first gym. And to trigger the event, you actually need to talk to the mother. I'm a terrible son. I don't remember what my mother looks like. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, oh, what am I doing? This should actually be nothing for now. Nothing. And then, variable, gym defeated is one or more. All right, this is, this is, this is, this is the bread and butter of it. This is where we get real good, uh, because this is where we get into the story. The mom says, I'm worried about Anne. All she does is watch TV and sit in her room. She's going to... No, we're going to say soon, so there's a sense of urgency. Soon she'll be traveling. Mm. She'll 
she needs to get outside more. There are a lot of Pokemon and places to see. And then here's the fear. So that was like the upside. Here's the downside. What will she do if she never... grows a custom... I can't spell. Well, I'm, I'm just, it's just getting worse, guys. Uh, this is one of those times where I'm glad that my screen resolution is not top tier. <laughs> oh, I actually... I actually think they, they, I had it right the first time. Okay. What will happen if she never grows accustomed to Pokemon? And then we're going to do we're going to do an animation with the text at the same time and it's going to be dust. Okay, and now we're back to showing animation. The... Oh, I should name this um, event so I can differentiate them. Starting mom, because that's the mom that starts this, the story. So, show animation for... Not show animation. Set move route. I think I need to close it before it renames it appropriately. There it is. Starting mom. Okay, now we can set our move out. Uh, turn down. And wait five frames. And then we're going to wait for moves completion. Oh, actually, no, it shouldn't be turned down um, because you may not be down. It should be turned to player. Here we go. Turn toward player. Wait for moves completion. And then she's going to say. Dot, dot, dot. But just enough to see that Pokemon are not scary. Um Okay, now now do I want to actually make the player walk over and talk to the daughter or should I just teleport the player? I've been thinking about sort of locking the player in so the player can't like leave an area while the sister tails them, walks around with them. Um, but I think I think a story would be easier to do, um, a story event, because I don't think it really adds that much for you to walk around and and battle for like a couple minutes um before something else happens i think i should just kind of roll it like it's a cutscene. okay so with that being said let's go back to the mama so we're gonna control variables and I'm only using variables because it makes... I l use less switches. 
because what we're going to do is we're going to do variable 27 and we're going to name it sister story. And we are going to add Wait, what am I doing? This is what I want. This should be sister story. And we add one to it. So it's currently at zero. There's the whole game up until this moment. And then we are going to transfer player. And we're going to transfer them to average town. And, uh, right here. And we want them facing right with fading. And then we're going to do self switch B. I'm working backwards with self switches just because I don't know if I'll ever put someone back here. And I like self switch D to basically be you're done. You're gone. Um. And so this is also going to be a new event page. Nothing's here when self switch D when when sister story is one. So hopefully that'll turn that'll transport her away. Same thing with this copy event paste it. The TV will now be off if sister story is one or above because she's not at the TV. Um, and then again here. When Sister Story is one or more, you're gone, Dad. Um, and now we're going to do something crazy out here. Um, we're going to add the graphic for your sister so that we can teleport it in and out for the story event that we're going to program. And now we're going to also do that for your mom, because she's going to make an appearance in the story event. Um, or I guess it could be the dad, but the mom's the one who asked you to do this, so I'm going to keep it with the, as the mom. And this is going to be sister, and this is going to be mother. Now, where did I teleport the player? Twelve twenty-two. So you'll teleport to twelve twenty-two, which is right here. Um, we're gonna make an auto run event. So as soon as you enter the map, and sister story is at one. This will happen. And what it'll do... Hmm. Hopefully this is like immediate. Um, set event location. We're going to set the sister to 13. 22 and she's going to be facing left and also set move route for sister boom and then we're going to copy this and do it for the mom so we're going to move the mother and mother is going to be Right here, he's also going to be facing left.
And we're going to wait for moves completion on all of those. Okay. Um, did I make your mom's text red? I did not. Good. I only want like the color text to be staples of like the rival, the friend, you. Well, you don't talk. Um, rival, friend, professor, like main characters and not just a, a general thing. Okay. Let's now make your mother walk around. Sister's going to turn down. You are also going to turn down. And that'll happen all together. Wait for his completion, and your mom's going to say, Have fun and be safe. Dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. Let's see if that works. Let's just see how that goes for now. I saved myself all the way over there on that side of town, and now I need to run all the way back to where I was before. So we're going to change some things up. First thing is... I'm in switches. I want variables. Gym defeated is going to up to one. Which should be enough. Oh, I also need to switch to... Met Professor, I think. No, or... Okay, no, that's already good. So everything should be good. We shouldn't have duplicates. Sprites, we shouldn't have, like, two dads. Um, or two moms, both just chilling together. There should only be one. Oh, so here's an immediate problem. The sister isn't here. The sister should be here. Dad's here. Yep, dad is trying to figure out what book to read. Um, okay, so that's one thing that we'll need to troubleshoot and figure out why the sister isn't appearing. Did the TV work? Yeah. The blueberry is both dry and sweet. The sweet flavor is commonly preferred by timid Pokemon. To, f to further please a timid Pokemon, consider mixing sweet and spicy berries. And then she says, get out of the way. Amazing. Not now my favorite show is on. Okay, so there's something wrong with her sprite, but... The rest of it's all good. Okay, let's approach mom from this side and see what she says. All right, that was bad. Um, it worked, and it keeps working. That's what auto runs are supposed to do until you have a self switch. Um, I'm 
but the problem with it was, yeah, we just needed to assign a sprite. That's an easy. So that's fixed. There's there's one thing to do. here um when the when you transfer the player oh it was they should face right um okay so that worked the real problem is actually right here with this event the mom and sister both just sort of like up here um And I wonder if we can do, we can delay the fade. Because we just need like a couple more seconds. Do you have screen flash? Which is used on what, like door transitions? Change screen to color tone. Change screen tone. Because all we need to do is give ourselves enough time to load into the event. So I'm hoping that by sandwiching the teleportation between a black screen, it won't be odd. But it, it could flash anyways, because it already does natural screen transitions in events. Okay, good. She's here and she's watching TV. She needs to turn back up after you talk to her. I'll need to fix that. That didn't do it. There's still that flash there. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Um, but I realized I should split this text up. Should be two, not one. Can you take her outside? All right, um, I'm going to call it right there for the stream. Um, I'm going to keep going through and fixing the Machop line, polishing that so that it can be a good fighting electric. I'm going to keep adding Pokemon, uh, well, the variations to Pokemon gym leaders. A lot of the polish and touch up the stuff that I don't think... It's really that exciting to even talk about or show because it's mainly just typing. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching.